From afar, it looks all green, prospects of a good harvest. But for these farmers in Nyaguru village, Kisi County, the worms they find in their farms and the damaged cause to the leaves is cause for worry. <laughs> Tomorrow, they say they will be at the local agriculture offices seeking solutions as attempts to spray the worms have failed. Across the border in Rayumbi village, Migori County, similar frustration by farmers. Money they invested here has gone down the drain, evident in the damaged crops. In less than a month, the worms have marched through 12 counties, leaving a trail of destruction in Busia, Kakamega, Transzoia, Wasingishu, Nandi, Baringo, Kericho, and Bungoma counties. El Geomaraquet County, Kisi, Vihiga, and Migori counties have not been spared. The worst hit is Transzoia County. Agriculture CS Willibet says the ministry has identified the chemical that will help curb the menace, with the ministry applying for 361 million shillings as subsidy for affected farmers. In Bungoma County, where a harvest of 1 million bags of maize was expected, 30,000 acres have been affected in the invasion. When they are spraying, that spray in a lenga, here tunnel, you mind the Indian Dandy because you do an Akan Dani and a Chichanda. The new threat to food security coming amidst of raging drought that has put the lives of over 3 million Kenyans at risk. It now threatens to worsen an already bad situation that has seen prices of foodstuffs shoot through the roof. The CS says if the situation persists, the ministry will involve the National Youth Service to spray affected farms. The government has also launched a booklet with information on how to identify the worms. Described as numerous moths of larvae travel in multitudes from field to field, destroying grass, grain and other crops. The worm was first reported in September 2016 in the West Africa region. Before spreading to East Africa, Masi Kandie, Monday Special.